don't get a lot of opportunities to go away, but it was kind of perfect storm this weekend where we actually had a small window of opportunity for us to get out of town. Both kids are um, dog sitting tonight, this weekend, so the house was empty. So we're actually heading into DC for a little night away. Yep. I'm getting hungry though. You want to stop? Instead of going all the way there, you want to stop in Annapolis? I'm starving. What do you yeah. feel like eating? Yeah. I kind of want to keep it kind of light and fairly clean because tonight I think uh, I like to have a nice kind of carefree meal, nice big dinner tonight. Are you cool with that? Yeah. Like what though? Like a salad or? Those? I don't really know what I feel like. Let's, uh, let's get over there and we'll figure out what we want. Uh, what are you guys doing? We're, We're raising, raising money for, money for pediatric, pediatric cancer. cancer research. Really? Yeah, it goes to Hershey Medical Center. Good, you guys are far from home, huh? Yeah, yeah our friend are. lives in Annapolis, so we're staying here for the weekend. Gotcha, gotcha, she's taking advantage, huh? Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's so beautiful, beautiful here. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. See the Washington Monument. Oh, beautiful. Right. <laughs> Got our waters heading back to the hotel now. We're gonna get changed up. This Boston area is nice. They get it's like a, it's a Boston. little city <laughs> within the city. You get a mall, you get bars, you get restaurants. Oh, that's, it's rather nice. It's rather nice. It's rather nice. So, where are we going now? Go this way. Okay. With the, the Marine Corps, with the race going on tomorrow, I think there's a lot of people because in town. Uh, Halloween. Because Halloween after tomorrow, a lot of people are coming to, to enjoy to some parties, some festivals. Some yeah, yeah. A lot of people will come. Kind of like us coming in just for like uh, just for a day or so, right? Yeah. Also, this is busy airport. Airport is uh, Rory Regan. Is, today is very busy. Today and yesterday. Huh, everyone's almost arriving. Time, almost time you, uh, you send me uh, notifications in uh, Uber. Go airport. Go airport. Yeah. Pick up people. You know the taxi guys. Do they get mad at you guys for going out to the airport? Because I always thought that was more taxi, you know, territory out there. No, but uh, some people really like it Uber. Do you know yesterday I picked up uh, some guys uh, from Atlanta 
uh, I charge for you thirty dollar because your search area uh, one mile uh, around is four dollar. Oh really? Uh, yes. Sometimes you uh, if you not not a lot of uh, Uber and uh, a lot of a lot of Uber and every around around the region. Yeah. You make Uber increase the price. You make search. Yeah, yeah. Search. The price search. Yes, the price search. DC, I want to get some din din. We go to the Hamilton. We're gonna grab a little cocktail first before we get our dinner, though. Beautiful, beautiful view. We're actually looking down on the White House. Yeah, we're in POV, which is up on the top of the W Hotel in DC. So we have the White House behind us, and then the um, Washington Monument. Sunset is beautiful. The camera doesn't really do it any justice. Is there anybody home? I don't think Barack's home tonight. Or maybe he is. Now it's dinner time. Heading to the Hamilton. Get our food on. You getting hungry? I'm hungry. It smells so good. I know, it smells great. Can't wait to eat. Yeah. Here we are deep, deep in the woods. Where all the wild egrets roam free. No. Just kidding. Here we are at the Hamilton, waiting for our table. So we figured we'd take an opportunity to get a couple of cocktails. How's your food? Let me see. It's really good. So talk to me, what'd you get? I got um, seared scallops. And it has um, some butternut squash, Brussels sprouts, um, some sweet potato chips. Yummy. And a little bit of ham cheddar. Beautiful. Yeah, really, really good. Did you like it? Yeah, it's awesome. I'm still working on it over here. I got a lobster pasta with some um, squash. Butternut. <laughs> Butternut squash. I have a noodle. Yeah, take it. Take it. Yeah. Do it up. There you go. It's good. It's got a little nutmeg in there, too. It has a nice fall flavors to it. I think you're going to enjoy it. All right? Pre-coffee, 18 minute walk is a little bit much. We're gonna drive this baby. That's a nice morning for the top down too. Top down.
for breakfast. Um, oh. I, I got a harvest bowl. It was like a arugula or mescaline. I always get those two mixed up. Is that one of those weird lettuces? Yep. Um, feta, egg, avocado, pesto, and quinoa. Mm. It was really, really filling too. I'm surprised. Yeah, it was really a good. Time finishing it, which is so unlike me. <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> got a bag of potato chips. <laughs> I got a uh, sandwich. It was it was delicious. <laughs> Imagine if you will. <laughs> no, it was good. It was a breakfast sandwich. It was egg and um, bacon, but it was like a homemade bread. It was really really good. It had a lot of pumpkin seeds in it. It was good. I can't. What was it called? Like that. I forget what it's called. I forget what it's called too. So we're at this uh, Sweet Leaf Community Cafe. It's pretty cool. There's um, a lot of healthy options. It was good. Mm -hmm. That was really good. I recommend it. Mm -hmm. So it was Washington, D.C. Can you see the uh, Washington Monument behind me? I'm going to block it with my, with my big dome. You're blocking it right now, but you do have a big dome, so. Thanks. So over the last year and a half, I guess, I've competed, what, four times mm -hmm. in the last? From November to um, July. It was probably, no, not probably, definitely, without a doubt. Um, in the best shape of our lives. Basically at the top of the world, and I had a goal to get my IFBB Pro Card, and being a, a natty, it's highly uh, doubtful that I would accomplish my goal, but I did. And um, I got my Pro Card. So sorry, guys. In... <laughs> you just crashed our video, man. Sorry, right, you're cool. I'm so sorry. I... <laughs> so, Anyway, over a year and a half's time, we dieted every day, seven days a week, went to the gym every day, seven days a week, worked our asses off, food prepped, um, you name it, everything was, was just dedicated towards getting that pro card, and we fucking got it. We got, we got the pro card. Um, in that year and a half's time, there was probably a little bit of... Uh, damage done maybe I don't know um, I kind of hit a wall after I competed I had some injuries woke up in the middle of the night one night couldn't feel my arms my hands all the way up to my shoulder both sides um, found out that I have some pretty extensive nerve damage um, probably from just years of not really listening to my body um, and then on top of that, we both came down with, uh, it was probably pneumonia, but it w we were told it was bronchitis. Um, still so, recovering. We, we, that knocked us off for three weeks. Yep, three still, weeks, recovering. still recovering. Still um, uh, We were probably the most positive we've ever been in our lives, and being positive just, I swear, it, it takes you anywhere to where you want to be. It gets you what you want. Um, but every once in a while you do need to fall and I believe that we kind of fell a little bit and we got off track and um, but the most important thing is is that you can kind of dust yourself off and pick yourself up and rebuild because if you don't have those moments in life when you fall then you really don't know what it's like to work your ass off and you don't really appreciate what you have in life and I feel like it's kind of important to sort of hit rock bottom every once in a while um, 
and build yourself back up and that's what you learn when you're in your comfort zone you're just sort of like stuck and you don't really get anywhere so I guess I'm, I'm, I'm being honest when I say this I, I'm grateful that we kind of had that that time where we both sort of fell um, we, didn't, we haven't worked out in like the last three weeks and that was a huge hit to my ego and I'm sure yours as well. Oh no, sure. Um, feeling kind of weak and, and soft and um, but uh, it's really fired me up to get motivated and we decided to get away um, for the weekend and just kind of like just chill, just eat whatever, drink whatever and have fun and relax and um, tomorrow uh, we're fired up to get started again. Starting tomorrow, um, we're actually going to do something a little bit different where Chris has never done a actually controlled off-season diet before. It's usually just eat fairly healthy, cheat every now and then, and then when it comes, you know, when you're, when you're three, four months out before a competition, you start dieting and start eating clean. We're doing things a little bit differently this year in that we're actually going to do a controlled diet, a uh, controlled off-season diet, which starts tomorrow. So, um, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes, but it's, I don't think it's going to be easy in the beginning, but uh, I think we'll... We, we tend to thrive, and I think human beings tend, in general, tend to thrive on having that familiar environment, that kind of that routine repetition. It sounds boring, but it's actually, it's as far as I'm concerned, it's the best way to get from point A to point B. Is if once you get a good system down, you stick with it and you keep plugging away. And if you have that routine and system, I think it's key to get uh, to where we need to be. So I, I think getting back in the gym and not being as strong as we usually are is going to be the, the hardest yeah, thing so for that's me a, mentally that's a punch to get in the throat for sure through, yeah. but i know it'll just get better every day so i'm i'm psyched to get back in i I've, I've committed myself to competing again in may yeah may of 2018 so it'll be my first pro show and i'm really really excited because like dave said we've never really done a controlled off-season diet so kind of looking forward to seeing um, how much better I can get and, and uh, just seeing what my body can do because so many people say that you can't get your, your pro card if you're a natural bodybuilder well you know I'm kind of here to say that that's not true and a lot of people believe that it's a fact you can't compete in the Olympia as a natural competitor and I'm gonna give it my best that's my uh, that's my goal so hopefully someday you'll see me up on the Olympia stage you're here. Yeah. You got to do